Hi everybody, it's Lydia here at beautiful Anza Borrego Desert State Park, one of California's many state parks. I'm here to chat with you all today a little bit about the native plants and animals that call the desert home. Now, the wildlife here in Anza Borrego are already living under some pretty extreme conditions. It is hot and it is dry here. But due to climate change, it is only getting hotter and drier. See, when people drive cars and burn those fossil fuels, when they use electricity that comes from burning coal, we're emitting gases into our atmosphere that act like a heat trapping blanket, making our earth warmer and warmer. When you wear a blanket, you get pretty warm, right? Now imagine you wear 10 blankets. You're gonna get really warm, right? As we continue to burn our fossil fuels, this heat trapping blanket is getting thicker and warmer and our globe is getting warmer and warmer. Now, for the desert, our scientists are studying the native plants, such as the ocotillo, to see how climate change is affecting these species. We want to see whether or not these ocotillo are going to be able to withstand these changes. And if they're not able to withstand some of these changes, that's going to have a big impact on this desert community. See, birds like hummingbirds that migrate to this area yearly depend on the ocotillo for food. So if our ocotillo are not doing well, then those birds in turn are not going to do well as well. So I encourage you all to take the first step in understanding climate change by looking up how it is affecting your neighborhood. What types of plants and animals might be affected with increased temperatures? The first step is for us to find these solutions is to talk about it. So I encourage you all to talk to your friends, talk to your family about how climate change is impacting your neighborhoods and what are our first steps that we can come together as a community to make changes.